You may think I'm the enemy, but I'm not. I don't want to bite you, and I don't want you to hurt or kill me. Snakes serve an important purpose. In the fields, we eat rats that destroy crops. The fact is, snakes and people live close to one another. Sometimes we enter your home looking for food and water. Sometimes we move along a path when you're out playing. If you see a snake, move away slowly. Don't pick it up. Please leave all snakes alone. Many times snakes and people come into contact and an avoidable accident happens. Five million people are bitten by me each year. Watch this film. Learn to prevent bites or take action if one happens. When a bite happens, move away slowly to a safe place. To avoid another bite, never follow, try to catch or kill the snake. Stay calm, don't panic, never run. Panic and movement increase your heartbeat and circulate the venom faster. Your entire body should be kept still. Here are the most important rules to remember. Get to a hospital immediately. Call for an ambulance or arrange for a car or a motorbike. Anti-venom is the only medicine that can save your life. Proper medical care is essential. Don't waste time with traditional remedies, herbal treatments or harmful first aid. Loosen any tight clothing. Immediately remove jewelry. After a snake bite, a person can stop breathing if you lay them on their back. Always lay them down on their left side with their face turned down to the side in case they vomit. Never use a tourniquet or tie a tight cloth or rope. Doing this causes blood flow to stop, which could lead to an amputated limb. Never try sucking out the venom. Never wash, touch, or apply medicine to the bite. Never use anything to cut the wound to let the venom flow out. This is dangerous and could cause an infection. Whenever moving a patient, it's best to carefully carry them or use a makeshift stretcher. If transporting by motorbike, someone should sit behind the patient to support them in case they become unconscious. So what can you do in your daily life to prevent or reduce the chance of a bite? Always wear shoes or boots and pants. Watch where you step in fields or in the bush. Use a stick to explore the ground before using your hands. Never put your hands into hollow logs and trees or holes in the ground. Always go into the bush with a friend or family member. You never know when you might need help. Here's what to do at home. Discourage snakes from coming inside by keeping food and water in sealed containers. Snakes enter looking for rats and mice. Keep homes and other buildings rodent free. Clean food scraps off floors and keep spaces tidy. Minimize holes as best you can to keep snakes and rodents from entering. Keep wood piles a safe distance from the house. Keep wood used for cooking on a raised platform. Keep the area around your house free of stacked items, garbage, and long grass. Create clear pathways that are free of leaf litter. Because some snakes roam at night, it's important to sleep in beds raised off the ground. Bites easily happen when you roll onto a snake while sleeping. Sleeping under a well-tucked-in bed net is the best advice. It will also prevent bites from mosquitoes, scorpions, centipedes, and spiders. Always use a torch when walking outside at night. Even if you know your surroundings, you never know where a snake will be. Always hang up your shoes and boots. Remember, snakes like to have a place to hide. Many lives have been saved by people following this advice. Share these important rules with others. Remember, 
Anti-venom is the only solution for a snake bite. There are hundreds of types of snakes, but only a small number of us are venomous. Don't take a chance. Always go straight to a hospital, even if you're not sure what kind of snake bit you. Know the location of your nearest health centers. Plan how you will get there with your friends and family. Never use traditional methods. Follow smart first aid. Don't wait to make changes around your home before it's too late. We share the same places to live. Let's make sure we both live long and productive lives.